Hello everyone and welcome to RM Pharma 2022. My name is Harvey Liebman and I'll be just giving some opening remarks on behalf of the organizing and program committee for RM Pharma 2022. So first of all, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, just some general guidelines. We do have some terms and conditions. Uh, if you haven't seen them yet, please check out the, uh, the website. They're posted there. Um, our Pharma is a non-commercial conference. We do welcome vendors uh, to come and join, but as practitioners, as practitioners of our, not as salespeople. And please be patient with us. Putting on a virtual conference is, is quite different to putting on a, a conference in person. So if you need any help, uh, the best place to, to reach out is the uh, Help Me channel um, in Slack. If you're not a member, please, uh, you can join our, our in uh, PharmaConf, the, the Slack channel, um, and we'll put the, uh, the link to join in the, um, in the chat if you're not already there. Otherwise, there's a contact form on our webpage. Um, you can reach out through the conference chat as well, uh, or just email. Um, so a little bit about our in Pharma. What, what are we for people who don't know? This is really just a, a volunteer organization of people who are really passionate about R in the uh, pharma and biotech space. And we've done a conference every year now. This is our fifth year. Um, we started uh, small in 2018. And in 2019, it was uh, in person for both those years with 147 attendees. In 2020, when COVID hit, we, we very quickly pivoted to virtual um, with about 1,000 people in 2020, um, 2000 in 2021. This year, we're at about 2050 already, and we can see that um, increasing as, as people join the conference this morning. Uh, we're represented by over 60 countries um, around the world at this conference. Uh, so it's really exciting that um, one of the, the goals for, for our in Pharma was to be as inclusive as possible reach out to as many people as possible. This is um, a, a snapshot of our community. We have a, um, an organizing committee and a program committee, and these are some of the companies that are, are representative. And RM Pharma is, is for everyone. Uh, anyone can, uh, can join, can contribute in lots of different ways. Um, it, it's, it's, it's our group. So if you want to be involved, either through uh, the program committee helping uh, select talks for the, for the conference um, or by putting on a, a, a workshop, um, please reach out to us. We're, we're very inclusive. <clears throat> I just want to talk about um, one other thing, which is um, open source in pharma. So first of all, what is this? This is uh, the, really the next evolution of R in pharma. And, in, in our space, you know you're doing something right and something really good when our studio steals your thunder the same year that you're about to announce a name change and an expansion. So in a similar way to um, our studio moving to, to Posit, um, our in Pharma is becoming open source in Pharma. And what we've done is we've set up a, a nonprofit organization to promote open source within the pharma and biotech industries. Um, we're a 501c3 nonprofit, which means that it's much easier now for us to bring in and raise funds to help continue to put on events such as RM Pharma and all the workshops that we had leading up to this. One of our goals has always been and always will be to, to build community and educate. And this gives us much more of a, an opportunity to do this. But why change the name? Well, R is still a big focus for us. Um, and R will always be an integral part of, of what we do. But we find that within our industry, more and more people are becoming multilingual with R, Python, JavaScript, uh, Julia, and, and many more um, uh, uh, languages. And we want to be able to promote and give people the tools to utilize these better. Um, what we've also found is that with our workshops, uh, not only are we able to, to bring some of these um, 
to our, our practitioners, but we can reach out to people all over the world this way. So uh, keep watching, there'll be more on um, open source in pharma over the next few months. And speaking of workshops, I just wanted to, to mention that prior to the conference, the previous two weeks, we held 20 workshops with over 3,700 registrations um, from people. Um, and there were, I think, about 1,500 um, total people registered for workshops across 76 countries. We were also able to put out um, credibly credentials for completion so that people could share their, uh, their growth amongst their peers. And I just want to thank these companies that are listed here who um, gave time for people to develop workshops to present for us. And in addition, I just want to thank all the workshop presenters that are listed here for the 20 workshops that we held. Um, the uh, recordings and materials for, for most of these will be available shortly through the uh, RN Pharma website. One thing we're um, bringing this year is something called the, uh, the Brian Bowl Award of Excellence. So Brian Bowl was um, an innovator and thought leader in the healthcare and life sciences space. Um, he worked with R and he was an early adopter of uh, Shiny. When his life was taken um, very early um, in 2016, I believe. The Brian Bowl Award of Excellence is, is something that we're now going to present annually in recognition of outstanding achievements in the uh, open source life sciences space. Um, this year, it's going to be presented to, uh, to Thomas Knightman and the uh, Admiral team. And we'll follow up with a, a blog post on our site with more information. But I just wanted to announce it in the opening remarks for RM Pharma. So congratulations to Thomas and the group. Um, we have a, uh, an RM Pharma merchandise store, and the uh, link should be in the um, reception page. We'll also share it out in the, uh, in the chat later on. And all proceeds will go to help support RM Pharma and put on more events. So if you're interested in wearing your uh, RM Pharma swag, and I've got some here. I'm not wearing this because it's too warm here at the moment. Uh, so please uh, um, consider getting something from the, the store and showing off how proud you are to be part of our in Pharma and open source in Pharma. Um, also, um, to celebrate, if you uh, want to tweet with hashtag our in Pharma, um, we'll be able to tag it and, and see it. Uh, finally, just um, a couple of things on the, um, on the platform. Um, you'll have seen it, obviously, as, as you're here now. Uh, there are five main uh, sections. All of our presentations will come out on the stage. We encourage people to use the networking um, and uh, go and visit the expo. Um, the expo is still open for um, submissions. Uh, we'll put out a link in the, uh, in the chat, but essentially we have a form you just fill in and then we can create a booth for you for you to be able to showcase your wonderful open source R packages and Shiny apps. Um, and if you want to, to create meetings with people, the, the platform is very open. You can create your own session or a round table. Essentially, this is the way of um, thinking of this as a, a side room off of, the, uh, off of the stage where you might want to sit down and meet with people. You can also do one-on-one. -on -one with, with other attendees. Um, and finally, just a few thank yous. Uh, we have some um, amazing advisory groups that have helped um, set this conference up for us. Uh, Abvi, Beijing, Janssen, Metro, Manar Studio have all been instrumental in getting this off the ground. And a special thank you to Lodge Raphael um, and Mike, who will be providing some entertainment during the breaks. Um, and also to Amy, who um, Put together the uh, uh, merchandise in the merchandise store. With that, I'm going to hand over to um, Michael, who is going to introduce our first keynotes. <laughs>